This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Cal Palmonville here with me, and no stranger to your TV. <laughs> no, uh, usually I'm not. Uh, don't have a camera on me because I'm up in the booth uh, helping with the broadcast of uh, some junior A hockey games. Well, speaking of sports, though, you are the co-chair of the Kempflin District Sports Hall of Fame, and that's what we're here to talk about today. Yes, that's right. I'm uh, glad that uh, we have the opportunity to uh, share uh, information about the Sports Hall of Fame with everyone. Now, we've had a two-year hiatus because of the pandemic, though, so it's, it's back just the way it used to be pre-pandemic. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't. I wasn't a, a member in uh, in twenty, uh, and so there that was shut down completely in twenty. Last year, we uh, you know we went through the whole process, had everything ready to go, and then we ran into the issues of having people to attend an event. Uh, we really didn't want to do it online because uh, I know in the past it's always great for you know families to be there in person. And uh, we were ready to go. And then they came out with the restrictions uh, last fall. You couldn't have any more than, you know, 15 or some of the other numbers. And we just said, no, we want to have this that the inductees can share that excitement with their family and friends. So we postponed it to go uh, now almost, I guess, back to normal for 2022. Excellent. Excellent. Now, can you talk a little bit about the history of the Hall of Fame and, and why we do this? Why we do this? Well, it's uh, it started in uh, 2010 uh, is when it started. And uh, like numerous other uh, sports hall of fames around the, the Valley, uh, it's to recognize and honor the local athletes and, and teams uh, who've achieved outstanding success. And we have the categories as an ath as athlete, as a team, or as a builder, uh, which is uh, a lot of people put a lot of work into doing things, and uh, those those people are recognized. Now these aren't uh, these aren't volunteer awards. We you know we've had uh, others in the past that uh, um, have submitted applications, and we've actually passed them on because the uh, municipality has civic awards to recognize outstanding volunteers. Uh, these are uh, individuals as builders that may have been coaches. Uh, and uh, have, have coached for a number of years and taken teams to high levels. And uh, it's, I always say, it's not a participant award. This is a, this is a Hall of Fame. Uh, and as you look at the pictures in the arena in Smith Falls and out in Brockville, uh, you see all those athletes that uh, you recognize a lot of names when you've been kicking around the sports world for years. So where are the, the pictures located in, in uh, Kempfall for people to see? Uh, so uh, right now, uh, of course, they're on our website uh, that we have, which is KempfellSportsHallOfFame.ca. Uh, everything is uh, there as well as uh, nomination forms and all the uh, past recipients. Um, they have been working uh, on, on having that because we don't have a wall like uh, Smith Falls or Brockville, for example, to put those on out at the Municipal Center. Uh, so they had been working on uh, getting something that would be interactive that you could you know, touch screen and stuff like that. So that was a project they had been working on in the past. And I don't think it was completely fulfilled. I know there was a, a rotating screen uh, behind the lending library uh, at, the, at the arena in Kempville. And they had a rotating screen that was shown there. Uh, but I don't think there's anything interactive that if you came in and want to show your family yours, you'd have to kind of wait till you kind of rolled around, but uh, uh, working at uh, upgrades to that as well. Excellent, excellent. Now, I, I understand that your, your, uh, the get together to celebrate will be on September 29th. Now you're gonna introduce two years of, of inductees? Uh, yes, it's gonna be held uh, starting at 6.30 on uh, Thursday, uh, September 29th, and that's at the North Granville Municipal Center. And yes, we had, uh, uh, inductees from uh, 2021 uh, and we'll be inducting them as well and uh, one of the uh, outstanding things of being with you today is the fact that we can promote uh, nominations for 2022 and uh, that will be uh, great to add on and uh, combine them all together we have uh, uh, two individuals and one team uh, that was uh, chosen for the 2021 and we'll see where 21 2022 takes us Okay, now let's talk about that too, because that's what we're here to talk about. The, the deadline to get the nominations in is July 20, or 31st, so how do people do that? 
Well, uh, there's two ways of doing that. Uh, you can go to, uh, as I said, mention to our, our website, uh, the Kimfield Sports Hall of Fame .ca. And from that, you can, uh, there's the application forms there that you can complete for the different categories uh, to be able to um, give some background. And, and a lot of times somebody may not know the full complete background, uh, but if they submit it and it's partially complete, if, if, we, sh if we see that there's uh, you know, a significant contribution and like we can kind of work to help you find some other background material uh, as well, you know, and find out maybe this person not only was the person a high level hockey player, maybe they had some baseball history behind them as well sort of thing. Uh, the other thing is that to be able to uh, contact, I'm, I'm just glancing here at email addresses uh, to be able to uh, email something to us as well. Uh, if, uh, but if you have email, you can certainly go to the website. Uh, regardless, uh, to, to contact myself or to contact Deb Wilson, uh, I think for those in the sports world around North Granville, probably know either of us or both. Yes, absolutely. For sure, <laughs> for sure, for sure. So both and we'll make sure we can help you out as well. So both you and that. Deb are, are the uh, co-chairs. Uh, now you yes. have a selection committee too. Now this this is probably where it gets really difficult, where you have to choose from all the nominees. Yeah, the selection committee really is all, all the members uh, uh, of the of the committee, and I'd rattle through the names, but I'm sure I would almost maybe forget somebody, so that wouldn't be good. Uh, it is difficult. We kind of you know we 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 want somebody that uh, uh, showed if it's a team. Uh, like one of the, from last year, one of the teams was a 1990 PB fastball team. They were Ontario championships. That was the highest level they could achieve for that team. Like that was the ultimate, uh, was winning an Ontario championship when they did, you know, other, uh, other members, uh, have, uh, competed at high level year after year, uh, or as a builder, they've, you know, coached peewee bantam midget they've coached junior a they've coached junior b they've coached senior like uh they had a they were you know a great career on their own as well as a player and then started helping other people to achieve those kind of successes so those are the kind of of things that uh, uh we can help you out with your application you get it started and uh you'll recognize who it is and we can we can we can help you out we just you know, there's a lot of information that we end up getting, uh, but we don't necessarily ex expect all of that when you submit your application form. All right, and that has to be in by July 31st. July 31st, that's a, a Sunday, the end of that month, and then we can begin in August. Uh, we will meet early in August to be able to, um, especially to see and go, I know from our others, it was like, well, let's see if we can get some more information about this, or let's see if we can get more information about that. So we'll meet very early in August and probably again in august to try to finalize things up because sometimes those um, there's some information we still have to get to make a decision well absolutely you really need the time to do that because i, I didn't i didn't realize that you guys were going to do a little bit more homework and background on some individuals or teams so yeah that's great yeah, you need the time we uh you yeah, know we take this very seriously uh this you know it's, it's a hall of fame and uh you know you need to really narrow down some things and, and to make sure that uh uh, it's not just a participant right. sort of thing. That's right. That's right. So once again, the nominations have to be in by July 31st. Can you tell people, Cal, one more time how to do that? Uh, certainly. Uh, you can go to our website, KempelSportsHallOfFame.ca, uh, and you'll get all the applications forms there. Uh, for myself, you can reach me at C at gmail.com. You can reach uh, Deb at... Uh, Deb W at uh, ideas and solutions.ca. You can also reach Deb through the North Granville uh, website as she is uh, now a counselor uh, with the municipality. So there's other ways of reaching her as well. Yeah, I found uh, you on Facebook as well. You did, did you? Yes, I, that's where I found you. Yeah. <laughs> that's where you found me. Well, I, which is really funny because personally, I'm not on Facebook. So, uh, yeah, somebody's posted me there somehow. Oh, so it was a, so. it was a posting for the nomination, so that's how yeah, I found that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, we tried to use uh, Carolyn Lundy's a member of the committee who's also uh, mm. uh, graphic designer and does all the uh, all that uh, great stuff for uh, municipality in North Grenville. Uh, so she had us out uh, through various uh, social media platforms. Excellent. As well. Excellent. One uh, one other part I don't know if you had uh, 
uh, were going to ask me or not is about bursaries that we have available. Oh, I didn't know. No, no. You didn't know that. No, I see? didn't know that. There we go. So there's a, there's a bursary program and that's helps to uh, continue uh, uh, the tradition of quality sports in our community and that in our community rather. And that's for deserving young athletes, uh, their teams or their organizations uh, for a range of assistance, even if it's uh, uh, they're going individually to a provincial gymnastics uh, thing. And we can, we have some funds that we could, they could apply for that we could help assist uh, with maybe with a night's accommodation or, or something like that, that we could assist them to go to that higher level and be able to help them out a bit. That's and wonderful. that's something that's also available and that information for that's on our website as well. That's wonderful because you, you don't want to hold anybody back because of, uh, you know, the costing of, you know, gas, the costing of, of accommodations, that sort of thing. Yeah. Too. So that's wonderful. Yeah, especially if they're going up or, or something that can uh, even, uh, you know, help a team. It's not like we have hundreds of thousands of dollars set aside, uh, but there's been uh, golf tournaments in previous years and uh, generous sponsors for our events. Uh, so there is a little pool of money there that we can try to help out as best we can. Excellent, excellent. Well, that's wonderful. That's great to hear. That's great to hear. Cal Palmonville, thank you very much for joining us today.